generalized hypertrichosis. In layman's terms, werewolf syndrome. Science fiction or record-setting fact? Hear now the story of the hairiest family on Earth. Loretta Zacatecas, Mexico, in many ways a typical working class south of the border town. What sets it apart is the De Jesus family. These boys are just two of a family of 19. Five generations afflicted with a condition called hypertrichosis, or werewolf syndrome. The women in the De Jesus family, sisters, aunts, and cousins, are covered in a light to medium coat of fur. The men, two brothers, an uncle, and a cousin, have hair on every square inch of their bodies, except for their hands and feet. As the only known carriers of the prehistoric gene for hairiness, Guinness recognizes them as the world's hairiest family. According to geneticist Dr. Luis Figuera, this family gives science a glimpse at a long forgotten time when a thick coat of hair meant the difference between life and death. They don't have any other problem, any, any other associated problem like mental retardation and that kind of thing. They are normal people, just they have a lot of hair on their body. Two-year-old Carla, the newest De Jesus child, is already covered in a light coat of hair. When she grows up, she will likely resemble her Aunt Lilia. To date, she is the female in the family most affected by the disorder. Lilia says God gave her the strange genes and says, she plans to stay this way. Older sister Arlene, whose symptoms are milder, says people can be cruel. Where we clean chilies, they call us the wolf children. And when we apply for other jobs, they tell us it's already filled. The condition of the girls is mild compared to the men in the family. Scientists who have studied the brothers, Larry and Danny, say they are actually hairier than man's closest relative in the animal kingdom, the chimpanzee. Their daily grooming ritual is unique to say the least. And lots of hot water. Larry's face is covered with short, bristly hair and is pretty much wash and wear. Danny, however, has the added task of brushing and styling his long facial hair. Today, the boys are well-adjusted, fun-loving teenagers. But as small boys, their world was an endless series of fistfights. As the older one, I felt I had to teach my brother to be proud of who he was. He is the more temperamental. So it seems I was intercepting the larger kids out to pick on the small boy with hair on his face. The boys know both the bad and the good of being born different. We caught up with them in Edmonton, Canada, now known professionally as the Wolf Boys. They appear nightly, not in a sideshow, but in the center ring of the Mexican National Circus. They owe their celebrity to circus promoter Robert Campa, who rescued the boys when they were just six and eight from a carnival freak show. In that circle, they bring the boys on cage, you know, like, a, and, and I said, I mean, no, that's not nice, no? Robert convinced the poor De Jesus family that there was a better way for their sons to earn money for the family. And I said, wait a minute, what, can we talk to your parents? And then we got to talk to the grandmother, and she said, yeah, you'll be able to, to if you teach the boys to do something. The other circus held his prisoner, two boys, six and eight years old. Robert gave us skills, freedom, and a new family in the circus. The show star, Mundo, who trained the boys as trapeze artists and acrobats, says Larry and Danny defy the audience expectations. The people come to see a hairy boys, and what they find it's a team of circus performers. So that's the point. So like I said to everybody, ask me about them, I said, if you know them, you love them. Our job is to satisfy the audience, to put on a great show. But we also want them to see that people who are different can have dignity. They can do great things. What's life like for two members of the world's hairiest family? 
In between shows, the boys ages 16 and 19 are typical teenagers. They like to hang out at the mall, play video games, and cut up. Danny also enjoys turning heads with 16-year-old girlfriend Nadine Lee. It seems Larry and Danny are having the last laugh on all the little boys who called them names. They say there's no shortage of attractive young ladies who find a face full of fur a real turn-off. <laughs> Danny was off in a different town, so I met Larry first, and I was used to him already, and then about a week later, I met Danny, and he was so much more hairier, and but he was so much cuter, and he's very sweet. The boys know their appearance can frighten the unsuspecting, especially at times like this. Crouching above the big top on a stormy night, clearing snow away before an evening performance. We've been brainwashed by too many werewolf movies, Larry and Danny say, and they want to change the way we view people born different. That's why they recently turned down an offer to appear on The X-Files. It's true. The X-Files show wanted us to play aliens. We aren't aliens. We're people, just like you. As the most famous of the De Jesus clan, they hope their high profile can help others come to accept all 19 of their Guinness record-setting family. We believe God has made every human unique. By having hair around our faces, our family is unique and special, too. A prehistoric mystery come to life as the De Jesus family of Laredo, Zacatecas, Mexico, enters the Guinness record book with the world's most unique title. They are the world's hairiest family. Our thanks to all the record breakers on tonight.